Hi guys, so today is going to be another story time and I'm excited to share more stories with you guys. Again, I do have little Miss Aaliyah down here with me. So she's like our little star of the show. Say, so I just got out the bath. Let's get into the story. This story is gonna be about the time I called my mom a, you know what? I called my mom this word, the B word. So yeah. It's kind of crazy not really I was young I was probably I don't know seven no sixth grade maybe sixth or seventh grade and um, at the time we were staying in an apartment community um, with my grandmother and um, I used to go to my grandma's house all the time like I would just like uh, walk to her apartment oh it was my apartment was in the back of the complex and then my grandma's apartment was in the very front of the complex so I just used to walk you know through there through um, the apartment to get to my grandma's door and <clears throat> that's just what it was so on this particular day um, I don't know what I did exactly but my mom would not let me walk to my grandma's house and I think it was like getting dark and if she didn't want me to walk in the dark something happened and I couldn't go to my grandma's house so I was mad because my, me and my grandma were like this and I would go to my grandma's house all the time and I really wanted to go over there. I don't know why she wouldn't let me, but I was pissed. Like I was so mad. And so, so yeah, I don't know what I did. What I don't know what I did. I think I got an attitude with her and so she sent me to my room. So I was like, I was so mad you guys. I was like, no, she did not just send me to my room. First of all, not let me go to my grandma's house. My attitude was so bad when I was younger. Like. It, is, it really doesn't make any sense. So I'm in my room and um, me, my brother, and my sister shared a room at this time because that's just what we had to do. And so um, we had bunk beds. Me and my sister shared bunk beds and on we had wooden bunk beds. And our room, the way our room was set up, we had like a lamp in there. It was... Um, it was not... It wasn't dark outside yet, but we our lamp light was out. So like the lamp in our room was out so we couldn't like our room was dark at night and um i'm not sure why it was like that i don't know if we didn't have a light bulb at the time or this this particular day so i'm just i'm just mad y'all and so i'm um thinking of like what i could do because i'm just so mad and i'm like talking stuff and i remember i got a pen and i started to write on our bunk bed and you know i'm i'm young i don't i'm not knowing or i'm not gonna real i'm not realizing that it's gonna show up in the wood it's like gonna engrave in the wood and so you know blah 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 i wrote something on the bed right days go by or like the next day i wake up because i think i fell asleep in my room because i had you know she sent me to my room so i fell asleep and the next day i woke up i noticed on my bed it said F U B spelled every word was spelled out F U B F U C K U B I T C H and I'm like oh my god what did I do like I'm like trying to hide it but it's engraved in the wood so I find me and my sister used to collect stickers like the kind you can get out the machine for like 50 cent and there were like the little Mexican um, like cholas and stuff like that so we used to collect those so I'm like trying to figure out a way that I can cover it up. So yeah, we got we collected those stickers. And so I found one of my sister's stickers because I would like put mine on like my school folders and stuff. She collected them a little bit more than me. And so this one particular sticker, it was her favorite sticker. It was one of the girl cholas. So I was like, oh well, I'm just gonna use it. And so I used her sticker to cover up the words F-U-B. And so I would make my bed up every day and like the blanket, I would hang it over the edge a little bit. I would just make it look, you know, like it was supposed to be like that. I would let, I would cover my, the bed post, um, with my blanket. And so one day my mom tells, I'm, you know, months, I think weeks have passed by now and I still didn't get, I haven't gotten caught yet. And so one day my mom is, she's telling my sister to go make our, to go clean the room and go make the beds. I wasn't even thinking about it anymore like I'm just like minding my business so I hear my sister calling my mom or calling me and like yelling at me and stuff like why did you da 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 why did you use my sticker like you know we were really into that type of, type of stuff back then so my mom comes in there and she's like what what is wrong with you 
and you know what's wrong with y'all so my sister's telling her how she's mad and stuff that i used her sticker and she once she pulled my cover up she saw her sticker on there so i'm like damn it like what am i gonna do and so my 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 mom made me take the sticker off. She's like, give her her sticker back. Mind you, the sticker's not good anymore. Like, it's been used. I stuck it somewhere. So, you know, I ripped the sticker off. Or my mom takes the sticker off and she sees F-U-B. And she's like, oh. I was like, who did that? Who? I was like, who wrote that? And, you know, I tried to play it off as best I could. But, like, weeks and months had passed. I told her like I didn't do it and it wasn't me she said it was something that it seemed like something I would do and like I didn't get a whooping or anything because it was like months weeks had passed since it happened so she was just like I don't even remember what she did to punish me thank God it wasn't like the next day because I would have got a whooping like it would have been no no games in that house that day so basically she never like got on to me for it I denied it for so many years like even and when I got older I denied it but you know like we look back at it and we laughed at it so yeah it was so crazy of me so dumb of me so disrespectful of me my mouth was so bad at that time but good thing I didn't like literally call her a bitch because I wouldn't be here today so yeah guys that's the story I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to thumbs up this video and I will see you guys in another one bye guys